She's an unusual little tree, but I think you're gonna like her. Let's talk about Clusia. What's up fellow plant enthusiasts? My name is Dylan Bain and this is Bain's Botanicals. Today we're going to be discussing Clusia. Uh, it's also known as the signature plant. I don't know why it's called the signature plant. Um, I just stick with Clusia because that's the only thing that makes sense. Um, this is actually a Clusia rosea. I will put the um, taxonomy information for Clusia right there. And as you can see, it's in the family Clusiaceae, right? Uh, yeah. So there really isn't another plant like this as far as house plants go. And it does grow into a tree. It probably won't grow into a tree in your house. Uh, they do grow pretty slowly, but if you ever wanted to see a full size one outside of the internet, uh, the Topeka Zoo actually has one of these in the rainforest dome. Um, I don't know for sure what the difference between a princess clusia and a regular clusia is. I think it's just the leaves. But if I'm not mistaken, I think this is a princess. And the reason I say that is because the leaves are not perfectly like oval shaped. Um, they kind of have points on the end and they kind of bow out a little bit more in the middle. Um, if you've ever seen a regular clusia, it's, it's a lot more uniform. There is a variegated version of the regular clusia that is actually really cool. The only ones I've seen are very expensive, unfortunately. So, um, this has been a really good plan for me, actually. Um, it just hasn't had any problems. No pests, uh, no leaf drop, really, no browning. It's just been growing, and it's beautiful. I mean, just if I rotate it, it's like, it's just nice, even growth. If you do notice, however, if you see these little buds, like right down in there, those would be called axillary buds. And if my arm, for example, is a stem, and this is like a branch, an axillary bud grows right in the crook there. You see it in a lot of plants, but um, this one seems to be growing axillary buds quite prolifically. But I think it gives it a really neat look, especially when they start to get a little bit bigger. Um, but yeah, as far as care goes, they're pretty easy going in my experience. Bright indirect light, no direct sun, but they are not a low light plant, uh, which most of your trees that are house plants like ficus are not low light plants. Watering, just let it dry out, but just don't let it dry for too long like you would a cactus. Um, kind of right in the middle between tropical and cactus is where succulents lie. Soil, a nice well-draining soil, anything like cacti succulent mix that has a little bit of sand in it. Uh, you can add some extra perlite or orchid bark just for that extra drainage. Definitely no moisture retention just because you don't want to have root rot. Uh, uh, humidity, they probably wouldn't mind a little humidity, actually. I know I don't normally say that about things that I consider succulents. I do have this one grouped with my succulents, which don't get humidity, really. I don't have my humidifier over near my succulents, and it does just fine. It's not, it's not browning. It's not doing anything bad. It's fine. So it's kind of give or take, whatever you want to do. And then fertilizer, I have just been fertilizing it regularly. Um, since it's kind of almost like a succulent tropical hybrid, you can kind of go either way. You could give it a little less fertilizer, it would probably be fine, or you could just fertilize it like you would any tropical, and it'll probably be fine too. They're not super picky. Um, but only during the growing season and then late fall to early spring, the dormant season, don't give them anything. Uh, just kind of let them rest. So, have you guys ever had a Clusia? Uh, let me know if you have um, a variegated Clusia. I would love to see pictures because I really want to get one. I just need to find a smaller one. The only ones I've seen, not only have they been expensive, but they've been big. And I like when they're, they start out compact like this because you get to spend time watching them grow. You don't start out with something that's so big you can't handle. Uh, I love it. If you find a Clusia, you should try one. I think they're pretty nice plants. So until I see you guys again, I'm going to make some more videos. 
Um, thank you so much for your support and everything. I've really been enjoying interacting with you guys. It's been amazing. I love doing this. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna get some more videos for you guys and I will talk to you soon. Thank you.